Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel and today, well today we just defeated a really annoying boss who's super duper fast and who takes a lot of turns and hits like a truck. Uh yeah, we defeated her. Uh, we are here in chapter two, Platinum Shadow to know. Uh, we can see, what is it called, the Iron Maiden? I mind sounds like a man name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I, I'm not really sure what this ship is called. If it's called the Iron Man, that's cool. I don't know, but either way, uh, uh, let's get going, shall we? Arr. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. Let's go ahead and board up, shall we? Is this a ship? Congo is excited. This bigger than me. So this is the Queen Fury. The Queen Fury, that's it. Where did I get Iron Maiden from? <laughs> I was even close. I was even in the same ballpark with that. You must be dark. Yes, I am. And you? My name is Kayla. I'm a crew member on the Queen Fury. I'm getting the Commodore now. Commodore! Commodore Peeler! Dirty's friends are here. What, Kayla? Be quiet. A man of the sea should have a big heart. Oh, look at this guy. Are you a party member? Because you look cool. I mean, you almost look like the Matador from Shimagam Tensei. Except without, you know, the skull and all. Yeah. Okay, you kind of don't look like a mentor, but you got the cape and you got the, the redness and all. I mean, look cool. Sometimes you listen to the waves and cast your dreams to the ocean. That is a man's romance. Commodore, Darnest friends are here. You got an order from the king, didn't you, sir? Ah, oh, you are the brave young people who read it, the bandits. You deserve to be guests on my ship, the Queen Fury. Thank you, but we don't want to be treated as guests. We have the same objective to pursue Linus. Hmm, I like that. We are ready to go, sir. I see. Now, the only thing left is for you to board. As soon as you're ready, we will hit the ocean. We are waiting for you. Are you ready to go? Yeah, we, we are totally ready. Now, let's set sail. By the way, I think in the last episode I said there's... Uh, the restores like the fireflies that will restore my HP. No, there's not. That, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but I did use an end, so we're fine. I mean, the fireflies were in the other direction with the uh, the cave of corrupted gravity. Oh, look how pretty this is. Look at all the pretty birds. Hi, birdies. What's up, pretty birds? Many things have happened. I was put in jail, and Dark came to rescue me. And we were with Blavitz, uh, and now we are here pursuing Lloyd. There are so many things I don't understand. The moon that never sets. Uh, the voice of Varage? I wish I could fly like you guys. Yeah, I wish I could fly like them too, but you know. It's the life of a flightless bird, Shauna. But it doesn't take me anywhere. Dart will laugh at me. Dart, I'm wondering where you left. Or what? Okay, we're playing as Shauna now. I don't really need a save. He is focused on cleaning. I should disturb him. Oh, sorry. I'll be in the way of his cleaning. I'm oh, sorry, did I get your feet dirty? 
Oh, yeah, that's what he's saying. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm looking for Stardust. Because I was told that there are two Stardusts in the ship, and it's hard to come back to the ship. So, I want to find those Stardusts. It's too bad this guy doesn't have a tail. If he had a tail and he was, like, walking back and forth, he would look like Red 13. <laughs> and that would be awesome. That would be great. Yeah, I was not told where the uh, the Stardust is. I just was told that there are two on the ship. Uh... It's famous among sailors that a phantom ship appears around this area. We are all with you, so please don't worry about the Wingly or the phantom ship. What do you mean? I'm with you. Ah! Got one! All right, so I know there's at least one more somewhere. And once I get that one more, I don't have to click like a map bird all over the place. Really, really would like to get that other one as soon as possible. At a glance, I can find at least 20 kinds of spices. Somebody loves cooking. Seems like it's all the same. Oh, Mashana. Hey, how about having a Julian vegetable match with me? What? What? Super sure of the game. Uh, these are the rules. The person who Julian's the most vegetables within the time limit wins. The more vegetables say the person with more chopping wins. So Julian is just a chop? I'll place on a variety of vegetables. Please make a selection by pressing the X button. Please continue to press X button until you chop once for green spinach. Three times for red carrots. Five times for white. Using a tall place vegetable, do not press X. I'll stop my hand because it's dangerous. Unless you win, the number of choppings will not remain as the best score, and unless you save it, it won't be stored. Uh, I need to read that again because that is so confusing. Where's my pen at? Where is my pen? Where is my pen at? Found it. Fell on the floor. I don't know why I was on the floor, but it fell on the floor. Anyway, uh, let's see. What is this? What, what color is this? Uh, uh, once for green. So one equals green. Three is red. Uh, five is rat, uh, white. And seven is... Big. Doesn't tell you the color. It just says big. Whatever the heck that means. So green, red, white. One, three, five, seven. Alright, let's do this. Let's Julian. Green, red, white. It's my passion. It's my life. It's my work. Please wait while I get ready. Green, red, white. You know what I could do is I could drop a safe state here. I, I know I'm trying to avoid using drain safe, but this just makes it go faster. Ready. Um, yeah, this is... So I don't even know what the color is. I just need to chop until it's done. Yeah, I, I don't need no colors. I just need to chop until it's done. I don't know why they had that long description of things. I mean, you don't need it. You just hit X, and when it disappears, stop hitting X. I wrote that all down for nothing. Although, I hate mashing. I hate mashing. I hate mashing. My finger gets really tired very, very quickly. So, I'm reorganizing my controller here. Try to help me. I think I'm losing. I have less pieces. Oh, I think I just made a comeback. Oh, I won by one! And what? And what? Oh no, Mishana won. Oh, it's a record for chopping. Oh, it's a record for the number of vegetables. Would you like to play again? No. Especially if you didn't get me anything for it. 
All right, so I won. Sorry, I have something else to do. I see, I see. What like, well, what's the point of doing that? It's not this time. Okay, there we go. One gold. <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> Before I throw something. I did all that for one gold. <sighs> wow. Wow, what? She's not interacting with anything. She's just saying, wow. What are you doing in here? Well, I'm just bored. You know what? Let's have a pillow fight. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Uh, you are boring. Aww, let's say that. I literally can't believe I just did that for one gold. Like, really, I just did it for one gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit salty. It's funny because it say salty when it was a cooking contest, right? Oh, hey, hey, Albert, have you seen Dart? No, I thought you with him. Uh, no, um, what are you doing, Albert? When you listen to the sound of waves, you feel like the world is breathing. It is very comfortable, so I close my eyes. You're a poet. I'll look somewhere else. It's a selling logbook. He's working hard cleaning. Well, the good thing is, I know that there's two stardust. How much shot on my fish cleaning? Can we have a cup of tea? Try not to interact with you. I'm trying to click on stuff. Okay, I didn't see anything in this place. Now I can go up. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go up. And I don't want to talk to Dart, most likely. Because that probably progresses. Uh, hello, Mishana. It's a nice day today, isn't it, Mishana? The Queen Fury is the only still boat in all of Endinus. It can even endure the attack of a sea dragon. Hashel? Hey! Oh, the Dutz! He is contemplating. I shouldn't disturb him. Alright. Um. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I need you to move so I can get back there. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to do this. Here you are, Dark. Yep, there you go. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye! Nope, nope, nope! Yeah, there we go. Dang it, there's nothing over here except a trap. It's a trap! All right, we know not to go up this way. So let's go back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can... So nothing here? Dang it, we move. Nope, nothing here. Up here. Uh, we've already been here. Mm. 
Mele Sisu, where the wingly woman is headed, is vast. If she gets there, it will be very difficult to find her. Everybody is working hard so that we can catch up with her before she makes it to Mele Sisu. This is a really weird room because I can't even see all of it. I wonder where this pipe goes. I guess I can't climb in it though. It says that like all the way around. I wonder where this pipe goes. Kayla, check the pressure. Aye, aye sir. Oops, sorry, Mishana. And the way you slide in this game it makes it hard to like click on things. Everything is under control about the pressure. All right, thank you. Uh, hey, pretty, you want to sweat a lot and get slim? Don't do that. You don't need to do that. Weird. You'll sweat like a pig at such a hot place. Your pretty face will be ruined. It's an unbelievable machine. The flame is blazing. It's like dark. Oh, that's so adorable. This is about the treasure of Timbora. We we had to do our best, even if we must ignore the load of the engine. Okay. Um. <laughs> now the ship is our battlefield. In order to take the treasure of Timbora back, everybody is doing their best. I am doing the best I can too. I can't be second to anybody. Wow. Really good work ethic. Like, seriously. Really, really cool. I think I've clicked on everything here, right? Yeah, I feel like I've clicked on everything there. I feel like I've clicked on everything here. And this was a chef area, right? Yeah, I, I went around here and it's just spices everywhere. Let's head outside real quick. Doesn't hurt to do. Probably do a backup save. Right? I hate how you slide everywhere sometimes. Cause like, yeah, it, it looks like if you just use the um use a controller, you don't slide everywhere. So if you need to click on a bunch of stuff, this seems to be the way to go. Okay, I don't see anything in this area either. Uh, let, let's check downstairs really quick again. And let's throw a uh, backup save here. The Iron Maiden. Why the heck did I get that from? I haven't really listened to that much music anyway, so... Oh, I haven't been in this room yet. Cool. I'm glad I came back here. Uh, this was used to carry the fuel. It's gonna be the same description everywhere. Hi, have you seen Dart? You've already seen him. I'll look somewhere else then. <laughs> he doesn't even respond. That's so great. Huh? Yeah! Yeah! All right, we don't need to randomly click everywhere now. We have the two Stardust. Woo! I heard that Alina's was something the other way for an unbelievable speed. The more we shovel the fuel in, the more power should pass. And normally, like, normally I wouldn't care about this because, as I said before, uh, when I get to endgame, uh, I'll go back and pick up things that I missed. Uh, but y'all told me that, uh, that you don't always have access to this ship. And since you can't always have access to this ship, it's best to try to get it while you're here to make sure that you have it and you don't have to worry about it. And I do appreciate those tips. You know, uh, you know not spoil anything for me? You just give me a heads up and uh, I move on. So thank you very much. I, I, I can't say how much I appreciate you all. 
Y'all are the best, the number one YouTube community on YouTube. It is this way, right? I kind of got lost here. I know this isn't really a big ship, but I already got lost. I, I can get lost so easily, just ridiculously easily. Uh, I was talking to uh, Aunt Coder, who was watching Final Fantasy VII, and I said, look, I can get lost super easily. And Aunt Coder's like, yep, we can see that. Kayla, bring the parts. I sir, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I went the wrong way. See, told you, I, I can get lost in crap. Oh. We ran into uh, Kayla here because, oh, that's cool. I like that. That was neat. Who haven't we talked to yet? We haven't talked to Rhodes. Okay, uh, this way. And now we can talk to Dart without any worries at all. Okay, there's a lot of worries. Like a giant something attacking our ship. Why do I still want to go back here though and click X on everything even though I've already been told that? It's so weird, isn't it? Just some boats can be hard when you're not used to them. If you don't feel good, just rest. If you're not feeling well, just rest. Sea sickness can be nasty. Oh, uh, hi. Are you enjoying this boat trip? Hi, how are you? Hi, Dart. Dart? When humans go to sea, there is a lot to think about. Friendship, love, life, and romance. Probably Dart's heart is wandering the mother ocean. Such a scary face. You must be thinking about the black monster. Oh, Shauna, is something wrong? I have been thinking too about the past and future. And about you and me. You and me? Eventually our journey will end. Yes, eventually, but I wonder where we will be. I want to be next to you, Dart. But nobody knows about the future. Okay. Love it sailing on a lake. If you don't swim against the waves, just enjoy it, you will overcome it. Thinking alone is sometimes good, but sometimes we listen to the others, your way will open it. So I think I gotta do everything I just did, except with Dart. The black monster, I still don't know anything about it. Maybe Rose might know something. Crying the bed. Uh, the, the, a bit, a bit of it. Currently, the boat is heading to a port town in Mille Sassu, Farney. For the sake of the dignity of the Timorian royalty, let's do whatever it takes to get the Moondagger back. Rest well for now. See what you can do for best. If you don't know how to take care of yourself, you can never win any fight. Get into good shape. Oh! I can go up now. I couldn't go up before, right? I feel like I couldn't go up before. But I also feel like I should go back and talk to everyone first before going up, because going up probably leads me to Rose. Hashel? Heh. <laughs> I guess it's not time for him to talk. I do feel bad, by the way, because I didn't even think about going to Dino for the wedding. I thought the wedding wasn't going to happen for a while. Like, it never even registered in my brain that there could be a wedding there. And because of that, I missed the wedding. And I felt bad about that because I missed story and I don't like missing story. Sorry about that, everyone. But it does happen when you do a blind let's play. It's just, you're gonna miss stuff. Like in Shadow Hearts, I've been playing with Ace Zappa. Go by, the, by the way, go check out Ace Zappa's channel. He's awesome, he's great. And he's doing Shadow Hearts, one of my favorite games and I'm co-hosting with him. Uh, when I was doing Shadow Hearts with him, I learned that there's a optional dungeon that I never knew about. And I never did, because I didn't know about it. And uh, it's, it blew my mind. I was like, I didn't know this existed. And I still didn't think it existed. I doubted uh, the guy I was looking at uh, to help him navigate through the game. I was like, this can't be real. But it was. Huh. So yeah. Have you seen Rose? I do know. Anyway, I'm totally bored. Hang out with me. Hang out with me. Next time. Aw, oh, it's totally boring. I'm gonna tell Shauna that you were looking for Rose. 
<laughs> she kind of reminds me of that uh, little girl from. Ah, oh, this is gonna kill me. This is absolutely going to kill me. There was a character, Final Fantasy IX. She reminds me of Aiko from Final Fantasy IX. Uh, because Aiko, like, you know, said she was in love with uh, Zidane. But Zidane, of course, is in love with Dagger. And that's kind of how I feel here. Like, Aiko is um, Meru. And Dagger is Shauna. And uh, Dart is Zidane. Have you seen Rose? I don't know. You need her f for something? How about the birds are flying around us? It's almost like the uh, uh, the Little Mermaid. You know when uh, all the fish are swimming around the boat and they're all singing sha la 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 la. Don't be sad now, come on now, and you just gotta kiss the girl. Okay, I know that's not the exact words. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. All right, <laughs> well, it's not that important. The same thing. Rose is not here. Oh. Well, let's go say hi to Congo, even if he won't say hi back to me. Just kind of stares at you and you slowly walk away. What are you looking at? Blame. The light that drives such a big thing. You will be a flame that drives big thing. Alright, good talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you and Shana know nothing. It's not Congo's business. <laughs> He's actually really deep in his words. He may not say a lot, but that was pretty deep. Yeah, that, that was really, really deep. Okay, I think I've explored everywhere. Well, I need to talk to all the other people, but I talked to all the party members. And I don't want to do the cooking thing again. No, I, I don't really want to do that again. The thing I actually wrote that down. I was thinking, okay, well, one, green. So you had to hit, like, a number of times. So, like, white, one, two, three, four, five. Then you stop. Then green, one. Then you stop. But no, it's just... Da -da 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 it was like a Morse code thing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, it's all good. I'm having fun. I still think one of these guys needs a tail. Hey, you are, Rose. I uh, got a lot. Let's talk to this guy first. I cannot help trying to look cool in front of girls. I wonder if I act like a macho man, will girls hit on me? Uh, don't ask me. Never ask a single guy how to get girls to hit on you. Because it, if, if we knew, we wouldn't be single. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Here you are. May I help you? It's about the black monster. I thought you might know something about it, Rose. That's right. For a traveling just for that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. That seems almost a little suspicious. How do you not know anything? Oh. What are you going to do when he kills a black monster? What are you going to do with him? Kill him to avenge your parents? That'll satisfy your feelings? Revenge does not generate anything. That's what I learned from Lavitz. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Or even what I want to do when uh, I face the black monster. I just want to know what he is. I see. Well, I could tell you one thing. Thought you couldn't tell me anything. Do you know what is the source of the power of dragoons? War is not in human nature. Humans fight by making themselves into insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity. And this insanity is the source of the power of dragons. The Dragon Knight. I didn't know that. 
Someday, something will happen, and if you cannot chase in your insanity, I wonder if you'll be able to endure it, given the size of your spirit. So, what she's telling me... What she's telling me is the black dragon. Black dragon. The black monster. What is wrong with me today? The Iron Maiden. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Anyway. The, 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 the black monster is a dragoon that went insane and destroyed everything. Right? I think that's what she's trying to say. Does that match Lloyd? Because I've been thinking for a while that Lloyd could be the uh, the black monster, but I don't think so. Lloyd seems to be very cool-headed and like he knows what he's doing. But maybe he went insane, because this was what, like 15 years ago? Maybe he went insane and now he's more, more in tune with himself and more powerful because of it. Maybe he found some way to to master his insanity and by mastering his insanity it gave him even more power because he now maybe he doesn't even need a stone to be a dragoon maybe he just is a dragoon maybe that's how you become a wingly maybe he's a wingly because he went insane and then overcame his insanity and that freed him from using a stone but he still has the power of a dragoon so therefore Oh boy, deer crafting with flightless bird. It's always a pointless endeavor because none of my theories are ever true. Just so you know. So whatever I just said, just like ignore it because it's totally not true. <laughs> sorry, it was just nonsense. Hey, Rose and I are on the same page. Yeah, sorry everyone. That was complete nonsense gibberish I just said, but eh, it's fun to, it's fun to theory craft. It's okay. When I vision with Lloyd, I'll go on my journey to pursue the black monster. It's amazing how he never even thinks that the Black Monster could be Lloyd. That, that is strange. When I face him, I'd find my own answer to that. Because that's the obvious thing, right? I don't know yet how complicated this game is. I mean, we did have a death. So, it's very possible that the game is going to throw a curveball at us. Mine is that journey. I'll take a walk for a change. Oh, we're playing as Rose now. Oh, this is really cool. I do wonder what Rose's story is. Because I really feel like she is on... She's doing something, and I don't know why. I had the best eye on the ship. I never miss anything, whether it's a small boat, a flying woman, a flying woman? There's no sign of a flying woman. I'll continue watching. What? Alrighty then. This is really cool how we get the different characters' perspectives and all. I like this. This is neat. Trips on boats can be hard when you're not used to them. If you don't feel good, just rest. If you're not feeling well, just rest. Seasickness this can be nasty. Oh, hi! Enjoy this boat trip! Dart is popular with girls. He's well suited to men of the sea. I don't need that. Well then? I don't need you either. Hmm, well that's disappointing. Well then get out of here. Alright. <laughs> so, I'm guessing we either talk to Hashel or Congo. Which kind of scares me because I don't remember spot. Hashel. So, she does mention him. So, let's not talk to Hashel first. It's usually, it's either Hashel, Albert, or Congo. She seems like she may get along more with Hashel than anyone else. And she mentioned his name. I doubt it's Meru. Rose and Meru seem to be opposites. Like, she is very serious. See, it's probably been through a lot. And Mero is just carefree. You look bored. Like, exactly. Can we hang out together? If you want to practice your sword, I could give you one. 
Um, uh, well, I think I'll hang up by myself. Okay, it's unfortunate, though. Yeah! <laughs> I could give you some practice if you want. Like, no thanks, no thanks. I'll behave. <laughs> it's like... It's like an older sister scolding a younger sister. I was gonna say, like, a mom scolding a daughter, but... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. Do I need to go to see Kayla every time, or do I just see the characters? I, I think if I talk to every single person on the ship, that might get a little bit monotonous. Let's just stick to characters. Am I disturbing you? Uh, if you ask about Dart, I have nothing to tell you. I am not asking any such thing. Uh, okay. I used to be this innocent. Mm. If anything happens, never let that go. I guess I was nosy. I guess I was nosy. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong person. To tell you the truth, I often think there's much to learn about you about being a woman. Please don't mention this to Dart. Okay, these two seem like sisters. And Mayor seems like the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I think May was 16, I was told by Kyle. And I'm pretty sure Shauna's like 18. And Rose is. Who knows? If I had to guess, I'd probably guess a little bit older. Uh, I mean, I have no way to gauge. Gauge? 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 I have, no way, I have no idea how to gauge how old Rose could be. If I had to guess, I'd probably say. I don't know, 20, 28? I mean, because she's been around, she's been places, she's probably not a young pup. Maybe? Like the big sister of the group? I don't know. I mean, I guess she could be older. There's no reason why she couldn't be old. I wonder if Gigantos like dark places. Gigantos have hid from humans. Congo feel it is in dark places. Oh, the dots. Sorry for disturbing you. Congo, feel at ease in dark places. Alright, so now we talked to everyone, so I guess it's time to head back to Hashel. I, I will say that this game does the story really nicely. It breaks up the dungeons with the story in a very even paced way, it feels. Because right now, you know, we're on a boat, and instead of there being a little bit of story, and then we get attacked. You know, the game is taking its time to go through each character and have each character have a moment. I, I like that. I really do. Hashel. Pretty sure I spelled, misspelled Hashel's name wrong in a comment. I think it's spelled H-A-S-H-E-L. Yeah! I probably totally butchered his name. Sorry about that, Hashel. Are you thinking about something? Oh, Rose, do you want to talk about you live? I was just walking around and happened to be here. Uh, can I ask you one thing? Sure. You, why are you with us? I heard that in the beginning it was Dirt's Dragoon spirit. It seems it's the two. I guess. I've been wondering that same thing. Why is she with us? It's almost like she's with us because you know like when you play an RPG and a character joins you and then they're just with you? They may not have a reason to be with you, they just keep going with you. That's kinda how it feels like with Rose. Maybe this journey is just a little big for me. Let a little break? Why? Hey, break! Hmm, well, everyone has different objectives on the journey. I wasn't giving my voice earlier, sorry about that. But you, you look like you're rushing yourself to death with your life being run by something. It's none of your business. Hmm. 
Hey, I guess I was above too much. I cannot make judgments about other people. Oh, I guess that's it. I thought we were going to be Hashel next. You know, and then Meru and whatever. Hashel's home village 25 years ago. Oh, okay, so we still get a scene with Hashel. Ta! Clear your steps during the attack or slew. Take more precise, faster steps. Yes, father. You idiot! During the training, don't think of me as your father. Come here, master! I am sorry, master. Fight! Fight! Strike first, strike card, no mercy! Clear, you, my daughter, were the only heir to our ancestor folk school, my shout out. Yeah! Yeah! Those are cool kicks. Clear, you cannot take over the work school with such pathetic skills. Wow, that's kind of harsh. Da! Ooh. You implanted a murderous intention in your face, didn't you? Oh, Lata, what's wrong? Lata, what's wrong? Oh, Lata! Get out of my sight! Lata! Get out of my sight! Oh, that's harsh as heck. Did, did she just kill her, though? He said murderous intent, but did did she actually kill her? Yeah, they did. Well, I guess I gotta get in. Hey, shut it down, Inga. I was just running away from the pain that we had to overcome together as a master and as a father. It's been 20 years since I left the village pursuing Claire, but whatever I found was only my immaturity. As time goes by, I forget the objectives of my journey. But Dart and the others give me a new one. I think what I am I going through now is a journey to support the passion of young Dart and his friends. Oops, oops, I have become too mushy. Well, maybe I'll go tease Kungu. I hope he is not knocked out by his seasickness. Alright, cool. So now we're Hashel. When humans go see, there's a lot to think about. Friendship, love, it's bombless. But that is life, and that is life now, and he's feeling the mystery of that. Okay. How much we can say to Dart, I suppose? What's this ship called? The Queen's Revenge or something? Oh, the reason I'm making that up is because, is it the Queen's Anne Blackbeard ship? Now I wish I knew the name of the ship again. It's not, it's not the Iron Maiden, that's for sure. I can help but trying to look cool in front of girls. I wonder if I act like... Okay, so now you say the same thing. I'll move up. I like sea air. <laughs> that's the most random thing. I agree. It reminds me of things, and it makes me forget about things. If it becomes too much to deal with by yourself, you're welcome to come here. I'll listen to you. Oh, I appreciate your offer. I am not here to talk to you. Something about her. Like... Like, 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 the way that he says, it's almost like you're running towards death. What the heck does that mean? She must have some serious stuff in her past. Like, even more messed up than what Dark has. Okay, let's go down here. And we'll visit Meru. Let's 
somewhere Mary is. I told you I get lost, easy. I was I kidding? I get lost all the time. Boring, boring, boor, 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 boring. Hey. <laughs> yes, the type of place has nothing to do with Mary's easygoingness. I, I mean, if you if you didn't tell me that she was sixteen, I would not be surprised if you told me she was twelve. Like, in all seriousness, um. I would not be surprised. You are having a good time. You think so? You have a smell starting to peek out. Uh, huh. Maybe you are right. I don't know what you are thinking, but being young is a good thing. Uh, oh, look at her like swing around. That was so cool. Being young is a really good thing. Here you are, Kungul. What are you doing alone? Kungul always alone. You are not now. Friends, I still don't know. Kungul is here to see if you become leader instead of Emperor Dole. Dool, uh, it was your objective for the journey, wasn't it? Hmm, then why don't you do a talk to a bear? You might know something about your story from the past. Oh, this is so cool. We gotta move around with uh, Kongo. That's neat. King of Human. Kongo, go see. Go around throwing the fuel and then leave the rest of the engine room. I wonder if he has the ability to go in that, uh, uh, the engine room with the, uh, the fire where Kayla is. And something different's gonna happen. I mean, he is big giant Kongo, right? Kongo, here, say hi. Where is El Bear? I think he is in the cabin. You know what's weird is? I, I, I don't see him saying El Bear. See, big. <laughs> I just turns around and looks at him like, are you oh, okay? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is, oh, I love this game. Boring, boring. It's so, so boring. Congo, like, hang out with me. Hmm. Hey, hey, I said, hey. Hey, don't ignore me. Aw. Hmm. I want to have some adventure. Oh, right, he just ignores her. It's like, I don't need to be mean to her, but I don't need to be nice to her either. <laughs> Just like kids. Okay, let's go report this to Commodore. Hi, sir. Oops, sorry, Miss Congo. It would have been funny if she like ran into him and just like face planted. I reported to Commodore. All right, thank you. Hey, what a gigantic guy you are. What are you doing here in the engine room? The engine room is a hard boat. Don't make a mess here. It's hot here. This machine is hot. If we continue going at full power, the engine first won't last. Have we found the wingling yet? Flame is burning well. It's hot here. Alright, I guess nothing new happened. Shucks. Okay, uh, next location would be Dart. And if I just get the captain talking about the love, I'm just gonna smash through that dialogue.
Uh, where are we going? Uh, up here. The middle there is just the uh, the bed area. Let's let's not get stuck there again. Wait, I haven't talked to Albert with anyone. I've completely forgot about Albert. Where the heck is he? I forgot where he's at. I haven't been talking to him with anyone. I'm sorry, Albert. He's looking for Albert. He is not here. Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, really, I am really, really sorry. I completely, completely forgot where Albert is. Dang it. I I'm mad about that. Let me know if I missed anything, my friends. I do have an emergency save, so it's not like I can't go back if I need to. Man, that makes me mad, though. I don't even know where he's at. I completely forgot where Albert is. I think I saw him once before. Thought I saw him once before. You like to place. Yes, it's closer to the sky. Okay, good talk. Man, I'm so angry at myself for that, though. Well, at least I get to have some fun talking with uh, Congo. I mean, you kind of had to talk to Congo. I mean, Albert with Congo. Told you I get lost easy. I wasn't lying. I get lost easy. Pretty sure there's someone in the comment section saying, you know you totally forgot Albert. And then you totally forgot Albert. And then you totally forgot Albert. And then, oh, you just realized you totally forgot Albert. And I'm like, yeah, 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 ma. Uh -huh. I, 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 I did. I, I totally did. That, that was the thing that happened. I am sorry, Albert. I totally forgot where you were. You're over here. You make King Albert. Well, he kind of blends in with the room a little. I mean, his red coat and that red floor, he doesn't have a red coat. No, he doesn't. Oh, dang. I don't even have a logical excuse. I came in this room so many times, too. I walked in the room and said, no, there's no one here. And then I walked out. The, like, somewhere in my subconscious, it was saying, go talk to that person. And I just... Argh. Congo, what's to? What is friends? Dart said, Kungu, friend. Kungu, don't know what is friend. My Uncle To was your friend, wasn't he? No. I fight for Emperor Do to make a world where all the species equal. Maybe we can put it this way. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together, but not led by somebody who share happiness and pain. Huh, that is friends? Yes, that is us now. Although we had different objectives, we are walking side by side. Congo, you are already walking on the same road as us. And say something in return. Boring! Anybody want to hang out with me? It's thanks to those girls. I can continue to walk on this road. Now I'm going to socialize with my friends too. Alright, well now we know we need to go talk to Meru. I, I feel bad about that. I'm sorry, Albert. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... I, I, I messed up. My bad. Oh, you are not with Dart. I cannot follow him all the time, but being alone like this makes me feel like the five years of Dart's absence never happened. We are having a hard journey, but I feel much happier than back then. I wonder if even a hard journey can be easily endured when you have a loved one at your side. Loved one? I still don't know what Dart thinks about me. 
I think Dart's heart is on your side. But this is an issue between you two. I can't believe I've got Albert. It's gonna drive me crazy all night long. All night long I'm gonna think, ah, oh, I forgot about Albert. You got used to the boat. Yes. Great talk, yeah, great talk. Fuck, rocking a boat feels good now. All right, cool. <laughs> I mean, if, if I had used Miss Congo, I know I probably didn't miss too much, you know, conversation. But the fact that I miss Albert, one of the most talkable and sociable people on the team, kind of irks me. Okay, I know Mayu is in the other area there. And that's what we need to go see. So, let's make sure we talk to everyone else first. Yeah. I had to leave him alone. Yeah, I mean, at least if I missed Hashel, he would just go, hey, hey, uh. I mean, and if I missed Dart, it wouldn't be such a big deal because Dart is just like, oh, look, humans go to see. They think of all these things. And romance. He oh shit simulates people imagination. Wow, he, he finished his sentence. How wonderful and at the same time dangerous a thing it is. Well that's the point. You see through to the real ocean. Hi, see that was a cool little line. All the time we've been coming here he's just been saying the same thing and Al Ferrer is just like, Oh, I know that line. Yeah. I understand that. Move up. Great view and great air. Yes, it is. Okay, great talk. Once again, like I really feel Albert is probably the most sociable and He's the one that I probably missed the most of. Okay, um... Have I talked to everyone? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. So I just need to go talk to Mero. I do the cooking game with every single character. Oh, that would drive me crazy. Like, I don't even know if that's worth it. You are having fun, as always. Whoa, she just threw a pillow at me. I gotcha. Big success. Poor girl. It's going a little bit crazy in this ship. It's an awful welcome. Hey, Al. Like, you are a bit too squarish. You gotta become cool, like Dart. Are you like mad now? No, but I have a question. Wow, the exciting question time? Meru, when you joined us, you said there is still something I can help with. Is that true? Um, let me see. I didn't know why, but I really feel that way. It's true. Like, but I didn't know what it is. You are not just kidding, it seems. Our journey is a dangerous one. We will not be able to succeed if we take a lackadaisical attitude towards it. Therefore, I want to make sure one more time. I don't want to see anybody else dying. Now, please excuse me. Like, whatever. The king became too serious. Now's my big chance to hang out with Dart. Okay, uh, so everyone but Dart. This time, don't forget Albert. Like, go do that right now, Flightless Bird. Make him be your first target. Like, hey, have you seen Dart? I haven't seen him, but Shana might know. 
She might. Thanks. Okay, maybe I didn't miss much with uh, Albayer. I mean, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself feel better by trying to convince myself that I miss absolutely nothing. <laughs> Hey, have you seen Dart? I haven't. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. What do you mean you haven't? Of course you have. Like, I thought you were supposed to be with him at all time. So, you think it's strange? Not being together once in a while makes me realize many things. Like, really? It's too difficult for me. Uh, Dart is not here? She just said Dart is not here. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious he's not here. Wouldn't it be better if Shauna said that? Just weird dialogue there, anyway. Hey, Congo. If you stay in such a dank place for a long time, your personality will be drippy. Dank and drippy. Different. Forget about such tiny stuff. Okay, that was, uh, that was something. Uh, let's see. Hashel? And then modes, right? Yeah, Hashel, then Rose. And then Dart. And wow, we're already almost over an hour. Incredible how much time flies. This entire episode has just been on the ship. And it's been glorious. Hey, Hashel, have you seen Dart? <laughs> Hey, Hashel, Hashel! He's thinking about something. It's boring. Oh, there's Dart! Oh, a Dart spotted. I like how she said that. A Dart spotted? It's much better than there's Dart. Oh, uh, we should probably talk to this guy because. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna talk to this guy. Because I don't wanna be. I don't want him to be creepy. I don't want anyone hitting on Meru, because that'd be weird. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's not. I hope you want to do it anyway, but still. Like, hey, it's high up here. Yes, it is. Rose is dark. Well, she does have the uh, uh the dark gem, right? Ah, uh, move down. Thinking about something? I know. <laughs> what do you think it is? Come on, come on, you can kind of tell. Is that you, Shana? What's this, Meru? No, wait, it's her. Albert, don't be silly. Hashel for the voice. I doubt it, but Congo? Okay, this one sounds the funniest out of them. Although this one may make her smile, but all these other ones may make her jealous. So let's just say this because it sounds funny. I doubt it, but Congo? Yes, Congo don't speak with forked tongue. <laughs> I don't think so. I knew it was you, Meru. <laughs> well, I have great news for someone who looks totally bored. Why don't you come with me on an adventure on the ship? I've already seen a lot. Hey, you were thinking about Shauna, weren't you? If she sees you walking with a pretty girl like me, she would get mad, wouldn't she? Chad doesn't get mad about those things. What's with this adventure suddenly? Well, there is like something bothering me. Don't you think Rose is strange? Uh, she is strange. I don't think she's as strange as you. I'm not talking about that strange. I think she has something that she hasn't told us or that she's been involved in something shady or... Uh, have you told us everything about you, Meru? Well, I'm the exception. Don't talk bad about your friends. Everybody has something that they need to hide. Sorry. I, I don't mean to talk bad about Rose, but she's like cool to me. So somehow... Then you want to change the pace with adventure. That's my dart? You're totally cool? 
Come on, now departing on Mera's expedition. Mera's expedition, huh? Don't say hi to Rose. I'm mean, already here. Rose. Oh, oh, we need to talk to Rose. Well, not necessarily. Maybe we just gather people up in our party. Well, let me go ahead and drop a safety save here. And if we accidentally advance a lot, we can go back. Oh, wow. We just, like, split our party. Don't play a prank on her. She doesn't understand jokes. I won't. Rose has a mysterious personality. She is always cold, but when it comes to critical points, she leads us in a variety of ways. We are alive now. We are alive now because of Rose. I agree. Huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Something is happening. And I don't want to advance story until until I talk to everyone else first. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. You know, come to think of it, I don't think I would be super surprised now that we see a Wingly here. If that Wingly is from 11,000 years ago. Ahashel spotted, he's so complicated something. Ugh. Yes, been like that for a while, don't you th what do you think, Darth? Everybody needs time to think, it's safe for Hashel too. I guess so. I, 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 I just wonder if Rose could also be like 11,000 years old. And maybe she was a Dragoon who fought in the first Wingly War. And maybe that's her dark secret, that she's been around for a very long time, and she knows what's coming. Like, the Wingly that we fought, uh, Lish knew whatever, Lish... <laughs> Sounds almost like Snoofu, or Smoofu. What, what was that thing they said in Futurama? Snoo Snoo? Yeah, that, that. Um, whatever her name is. Uh, I, I wonder if they have a past, and that's why she's so dark and broody, because she's lived so long and she's chasing towards death because she wants a way to die because she's been alive for so long I mean that does make sense in a way question is how does she live for so long but you know the king of Sodio spotted hiding in a small place the people whose country could see this how sad they would feel what is going on Mary says I have some revenge on this ship so you are you are having a hard time, Dart. Is that hard? It's fun. Oh, I need to stop playing. This this episode's going way too long, but man, there's so much more I want to play in this game. I think I'll finish talk to everyone. And that cutscene will be how we start the next episode. I can only imagine that's probably gonna be the ghost ship, right? Right? I mean, it makes sense. Hopefully, it's the water dragon stone. So we can get Meru her stone so we can put her in the party. What are you two doing? Meru wants to have an adventure, and she is dragging me around. Hey, excuse me? You're the one who's following me around? Uh, well, that's it. Uh, good luck. You guys are not so nice. Are you come with us? I'll be here for a while. There's fresh air here. Okay, let's finish talking. Let's get going. Hey, you are still here? Sorry for the noise because Meru insists. 
Yeah, right. Don't make me up an excuse. Just confess that you love adventures. <laughs> Kago just looks at us. Baby sitter, look hard. <laughs> hurry, hurry up. Let's go next. <laughs> she doesn't like that at all. All right, my dear friends. So my name is the Flightless Bar. This is your story-based gaming channel, and we're continuing our blind let's play Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I will see you again very soon. Uh, we're going to pick up, like I said, probably... We're going to pick up with us on the ladder going to Rose. Because that would be the most natural way to start, you know? We're going to Rose, we'll do that little scene. Then we'll have the cutscene. Then we'll have the pirate ship or the ghost ship or whatever. You know, whatever cliched RPG trope we're following through. But at the same time, they're cliches for a reason, because they work. I mean, it's always fun to have a ghost ship uh, that you're going through in an RPG. Uh, it just, it, it, it just is a lot of fun. So yeah, I, I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.